All right. Well, that is Winnie Nwadi who is giving you a performance there, and the song is called Django. Why we play you that song this Friday morning? Well, one, because it's a Friday. Come on, we've got to introduce you to the weekend. But two, because the video vixen in that video, Nzamuina, you know that <laughs> statement in Kampara, <laughs> they take a screenshot of someone and say, I'm going Nzamuina. Well, the one and only Kabeng in Nzamuina mm. Valentina. I also met the men called vixens, because mm -hmm. yeah. I know the female are called Vixen. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. And happy belated birthday when in Waji, though she didn't invite me for her party. <laughs> <laughs> to you Valentino Kavenge. How, how are you I'm doing fine mm -hmm. I'm doing so fine I, I, I spent the whole night practicing English because right. this show is <laughs> <laughs> on another level <laughs> well Valentino Kavenge mm. is a Latin and ballroom dancer yes. and he's also bringing us a friend all the way from South Africa who is in the same line uh, Latin and ballroom dancing she's South Africa's 11 time champion in this field of dance but mm. also she has been a finalist at South Africa's Good Talent. And her name is Donlene. Donlene Fisher, you're most welcome to Morning at NTV. Thank you so much for having me, Priscilla. It's Could an honor to be here. Could you greet us in uh, South African language, your local language? Kuyamura <laughs> Alma, all of you as in South Africa. <laughs> all right. Got it. There you go. Yeah. Okay, all right, it's our Kickstarter here on Morning at NTV. We're mm. looking at breaking the barriers, especially in the uh, dance field. Mm. Uh, dance is an art, it's a rhythm, as you have seen Kavenge here uh, doing those powerful moves. I myself, uh, back in the day, I used to go for Latin dances around uh, different restaurants uh, on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. Is that old Are man who sure? died? Um, yes, Mr. Kato. Yeah, oh, Mr. Kato. Yeah. Bandang, Mr. Kato, <laughs> with his cash. <laughs> Mr. Kato had a shoe that had like a small heel, a heel and yeah. thinking, but guys, come on, a those heel. Are, those are our professional First, first explain shoes. to us the, the heel to the dancing shoe. Um, well, um, I think there's a way they just constructed those shoes. They came up with that mm -hmm. idea because they're just fit for the dance mm -hmm. and because and, uh, there's a lot that we do that these normal shoes can't, you know. Okay. Yes. So does it give you elevation? Does it, yeah, it lift does, your spirit? Yeah, it does, definitely. It elevates me the moment I put on that shoe. I, okay. I feel on cloud nine oh. ready to take those dance the, the, Is there a, a similar shoe for the ladies? Yes. Except for, I know they do the Latin heel, but it's a medium heel. It's not really a, a stiletto. I think Donlin will be the best to answer, <laughs> to answer that. that. Okay. <laughs> All right. The backbone of it is a dance. The movement of the body is mm. a rhythmic way, usually to music or within a given space. And this is for the purpose of expressing an idea or an emotion, releasing energy, or even simply taking delight in the movement mm. itself. It is a powerful impulse, but the art of dance is that impulse that is channeled by skillful performers such as Kavenge and Donlin in studio with us. And it becomes something that is intensively expressive mm. and it might delight spectators such as myself to feel no wish to be in their shoes but mm. to just watch their mm. aura mm. as they dance so these two concepts of the art of dance one being the dance as a powerful impulse and of course the other as a skillfully choreographed art practiced largely uh, mm. by a profession of you here in Uganda those are the most important uh, concepts mm. uh, that we do have running here in Uganda so we do have uh, don't lean and and Valentino uh, to help us uh, digress this conversation the art of dance here in Uganda what's the uh, progression of it and the appreciation of it by different communities and societies uh, please note as Africa we definitely have dance embedded in our cultures in our exactly. rituals in our norms mm. uh, but as uh, modern day people mm. uh, we would like to first understand what have been your journeys into dance how did dance find you you know and then how did you say yes to dance when she proposed to you that Valentino will you be mine forever <laughs> um, <laughs> so let me start with you and then I'll go to our uh, guest Janine. well uh, interesting for me as I already say dance a friend of mine just invited me to uh, social dance 
dance place and uh, that was Me Lotus Mexicana and um, as I went there it was just social dancing you know because people just as you've said that uh, some just go to have fun mm -hmm. and um, so the people there were just having fun dancing to salsa rhythms and 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 the cha cha chairs and when I went to the place that so the way I saw how a dance could move people and give them the peace, the joy, and everything. So that really moved me. Yes. Okay. So that's that's where and, how and my journey how started. And how old were you? Were you? Oh, I don't remember how old I were was. Were you in school? But, um, still still no, no, no. School, I was out of school. I was out of school. Okay. I was um, um, uh, pursuing acting by then at Mariam Dagires. That's where I found a Production guy called house. Moses. Yes. Mm, yeah. All right. Mm. And uh, when you actually took it on and started growing it as a career mm. path, mm. what was the reaction of your family? Well, um, I, I really don't have a father who... Um, He's a carefree guy, right? So um, for him, it was okay. But it's just my cousins who are all about, uh, please take care, because they all have this assumption that when you're in the arts, your uh, women and men go after each other. You know, you're in the spotlight. So mm -hmm. it's like, please protect yourself. Be, be vigilant and all that. Yeah, but okay. uh, beyond that, they were supporting. And I trust that their mindsets have been <laughs> changed over exactly, the course of time. Exactly, and how exactly. do they perceive it now? Uh, they really appreciate who I am now, and um, I'm really, really glad. Okay. Yes. Kabenge said his English was <laughs> practicing it all night, but it's rather very nice. Uh, turning to our South African guest, uh, Don Lee in Fisher, 11-time mm. um, championship. That means that you have uh, participated 11 times. These are annual championships. Yes, yes. So yes. that means you met dance at rather an early age. At in a very young age. Wow. Uh, what so is the story? I started competing at the age of eight. So I basically just attended a competition of one of my friends and I was like, wow, all these costumes and just the emotion and the expression of the dance, I fell in love immediately. Mm -hmm. And my parents then took me to classes and that's when my journey started, mm -hmm. immediately mm -hmm. after that. Okay. <laughs> so before you went into the competition, yeah. did you have elements in which you were actually um, attracted to dance? Definitely. So this actually happened in church as a spiritual dancer, mm -hmm. so that's my upbringing, it's a very spiritual person. Mm -hmm. Thank God for everything he's done for me and I'm here today because of him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why did you choose to go 11 times into the <laughs> into, uh, I, Latin and Ballroom Dancing Championships? I didn't choose to go 11 times, okay. I've just been competing for like 15 years of my life here. So I won the essay with different partners. It was with Jaden Ricks, mm -hmm. shout out. Then it was Cameron Lombard and Bjorn Kubra. Mm -hmm. So I've been dancing for different boards and schools and that's how I accumulated my 11 titles. Mm. Wow, <laughs> 11 titles. Uh, let's talk about Africa's Got Talent, South Africa's Got Talent. That I believe was a completely different experience for you. What really was. Talk to us about the competition in there. Um, the competition was tight at that point yeah. in time. Like there was a lot of brilliant dancers, singers, poets, and it was an honor to be placed third amongst all that good talent and the age category as well. I mm -hmm. think I was about 12 years old, Cameron and myself, when we had entered the competition. And we've got so much from it, like the exposure and just jobs as well mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah it's just been an amazing experience okay mm -hmm. um you talked about uh, going to your first competition and then thereafter your family actually aiding you into professional training yeah. mm -hmm. um how long did that training take you and uh, what has been the impact of actually training yourself in this skill to be who you are and where you are today um so i basically picked it up the minute i got into studio. Obviously you start off learning the choreography, you're a bit slow. The technique, it, you, it's very technical dance, so the technique alone needs to sit in your body, but I feel like I 
got it really quickly. And also it's my gift, so it's something that I was blessed with. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a natural outflow for me to just excel in it. Okay, yeah. well, when she said gift is the way we hear the church piano is doing ding. <laughs> 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 okay, all right, uh, Valentino, back mm. to us here in Uganda. Mm. Uh, take us through the, the, the dancing status for us here in Uganda. Mm. It seems to be something that is rather silent, only appears on the social scenes. Mm. Uh, thank God for the other forms of art, such as music, mm. uh, that have been able to incorporate dance into to what they do but mm. generally what's the appreciation <coughs> of dance for us in Uganda well I think it is really growing it's coming up you know slowly but it's really progressive because at the moment now you realize that actually artists are now hiring dancers to um, maybe promote their songs or do adverts and all that mm -hmm. so it's really um, there's really uh, the youngsters that are working so hard to to find a way and and create more opportunities and platforms mm -hmm. yes so okay. it's it, yeah it's, uh, it's really don't lean had the privilege of training have mm -hmm. Have you gotten yourself into that position where you've had to actually also go for professional training mm. to become better at this craft? Okay, so what happened is um, I was privileged. I got my breakthrough before I even stepped into any single dance class. Which was the breakthrough, <laughs> by the way? We Touch my to body know. and yes. jungle. Yeah. Those my were my goodness. breakthroughs. You did, you, you, yeah. did, you did those videos justice. We're so like, yeah, yeah. So the artists we know, but <laughs> this guy. Yeah, mm. Thank you. And um, so I got my first break, my, the breakthroughs before I stepped into a professional dance class. And then on 2020, I, went, I traveled to, I got the opportunity to travel to South Africa at uh, uh, Kim Isaac's dance studio. Mm -hmm. And um, later that year, I went to the UK at Otimabuse Dance Studio. Yes, so it's, I've, 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 I'm doing this and I'm still doing it. And at the moment, yeah. uh, Donlin Fisher is in Uganda and together she's really helping me grow because she has a wealth of skill. Mm -hmm. She's really, really amazing. And uh, she's at the moment, she's my personal choreographer. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, Donlin, talk to us about the two concepts. Yes. You do have the Latin dance, but mm -hmm. you also do have the ballroom dance. Mm. Uh, what are they? What are the distinct features in these dances? The obvious feature would be the costume changes. So ballroom is more round. You use the floor in a circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a circle. And Latin is more short, sassy, more out there, more expressive and ballroom is the frame is different as well so we stay in the frame um, in ballroom we call it the picture and the frame so mm. the man would be the lead he's mm. the frame and we create this beautiful picture and it's more elegant and poised than latin here yeah. mm. <laughs> it's fire <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. okay yeah. all right and um in 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 such a way how have south africans actually uh, appreciated and adopted these forms of dance compared to the Zulu heavy mm. dancing that you do mm. have? S um, Latin dance, Latin and ballroom dance specifically, mm. um, there's a, a specific crowd and audience that latches to it because not a lot of people knows and understands the art form where they would as with the traditional dances. I feel like it's li uh, the same in some way mm -hmm. compared to your contemporaries and your hip hops. That's, that's the more difference in, in that section, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, so when it comes to these two dances, it, mm. it, 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 it takes you to tango. That's, that's the magic yeah. word that they usually use. Um, so w how do you actually uh, meet strangers? and then dance with them in such a manner that people think like there must be something going on between the two. Uh, uh, Valentino, mm -hmm. you, you're the first one to take the, uh, the hot seat on that one. <laughs> I think Donlin will ask <laughs> no, 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 you will not run away from it. Um, yeah, because, I mean, mm. if people didn't know any better, for example, in that Django video, mm. they would have to say, there's that moment where you and her hand touch mm. and they, hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> Energy. Uh, uh, yeah. So it's... It's literally character. We, mm. we tell a story. Oh. Ballroom and Latin is about telling, telling a story. Okay. Mm. So we make it really personal. We find the common story between us. We find the story that connects us with the audience. And that's what the audience feels mm. and what they see. So it's not that we are in An a item. romantic mm. relationship mm. or anything. There's a different kind of relationship as, a, as just friends, as just partners or and people who speak yeah, the same the language. Yeah, the same language. And yes. I feel like that's what connects mm. 
um, the two dances, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Um, uh, you you had um, exposure to South Africa, then you moved to the UK. In comparison to how greatly invested these countries are in terms of promoting the art and culture of dance versus where we are in Uganda, uh, where where's the contrast? Um, I, I think uh, with these countries, they really have more, op uh, more. Uh, they've created more platforms and. Um, uh, it's one thing that we are actually trying to do here, and um, and the other thing also, the, um, the there is a there's a wealth of skill. Like there's really enough people who have a lot of skill, you know. So you grow up when you're dancing, you know. Some people like Dolin had the opportunity to start dancing when she was eight, you know. So um, whereas in Uganda we um, are for the time back we don't have people, professional people, yeah. to uh, really uh, give us the skill. But at the moment um, uh, we are attracting more um, collaborations between um, now like South Africa, the UK, so that um, together we can come and work together and and share skill and mm -hmm. and share the platforms and give us some knowledge on how do we create more demand for dance because mm -hmm. it's basically the creating of the demand okay yeah uh, the next question was going to be about competition uh, mm. valentino mm. but however um if we were to go specific on to latin and ballroom dance in mm. particular um these are not dances that are natural to us they're secondary to us here mm. in uganda uh, so before we even have competition for it we beg the question um on the grassroots of appreciation of dance mm. where does latin and ballroom fall versus maybe the traditional dancing um and the other forms of dancing that uh, seem to be more interesting and intriguing to people um well latin and ballroom um i think it's really very um very technical dance it's really a very technical dance it doesn't really come easy you can dance to the music and all that but to be seen as professional and and um uh, really create a good picture there's a lot that you have to learn you know mm -hmm. uh, you know the core and 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 your arms and everything so I think that's the thing you know that you have to really go in and study it you know yeah whereas our culture dances we can just play the music and 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 dance well, you know, we, yeah. we actually do study them because through our you know education structure mm -hmm. um, they do have appreciation for MDD mm -hmm. uh, so th that's one of the ways that uh, it's promoted through you know the mm. education system uh, but speaking of promotion then how are you promoting it here in Uganda uh, how we are promoting th that in Uganda is uh, the fact that we are now inviting in like Don Fisher and uh, a few months ago we had um, uh, Richard Marcel from uh, So You Think You Can Dance come here and uh, um, um, really see what we have here because all we all we want to do is to combine our culture and the Latin how can we create mm -hmm. something that is people that really understand you know so um, Don Lin is here uh, Richard Marcel was here and together we are uh, we are planning a project that really will create more platforms mm -hmm. for the dance and mm -hmm. and give it more more vi more voice yes okay. so but there's really a lot of amazing people that are behind the scenes really doing great work like troy studios um creating the space for dance because uh, the thing is uh, we also as dancers need uh, safe spaces mm -hmm. where we can go and just practice and and do that and also the social dance places like yeah. uh, like myself i found uh, i found my career and the journey through the social dance places. Yeah, so that, that's how yeah. I also yeah. uh, met uh, Latin dancing yes. uh, through the social places. Yes. Um, yeah. And I remember one of those times we were dancing and my partner flipped me upside down <laughs> in a second. He's like, hey, my head is down, major, major, my head is down. How did my head get down? <laughs> It was all, uh, I think what they were trying to teach us was to mm. trust, you know, the element exactly, of trust. Exactly. Because these dancers mm. uh, pose a lot of dangerous moves yeah. uh, that require trust yes. mm. of your partner to be able to hold your hand mm. and have you keep within the step and rhythm. Um, in, 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 in other ways, these dancers also teach us skills. So Donlin, yeah. what other s skills have you actually picked up and adopted in your day-to-day -day life uh, through these forms of dance? Um, while dancing, I've become a teacher. I'm a qualified teacher. Um, it's mm. really taught me patience. Patience is a skill that you need when working with mm. others, 
also just to keep yourself going and to elevate and enrich your own training as well so you never stop learning you always have something more to do as a dancer and as a teacher there's mm -hmm. always more to learn and more to give so yeah <laughs> okay all right uh, going back to South Africa um, by the time you've had 11 championships that mm. means that as a nationwide uh, there's uh, national appreciation of dance overall um, is this been at the backing of the government of South Africa in any way hmm. <laughs> Is That's there a national question. body that has there is there to is, cater to this form of art? There mm. is SASCOC. I don't know if I'm supposed to mention these things, mm -hmm. but yes, there, there is federations that um, promotes dance and hosts competitions and sponsors, um, especially the dancers that's representing in a different country. Mm. So, like myself, I represented in the UK for South Africa, mm -hmm. um, but mainly. You're on your own as dancers. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Valentino, yes. I've not had federations for dancers here in Uganda. How do dancers connect here? Uh, how do dancers connect is, um, you know, when we meet in um, in different places, and also when you have an idea. Like recently, we were uh, we were with Don Lina, and we listened to Vinka's. Um, by Lando, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, her idea was, oh, let's see, let's explore how can we really connect with um, with this song, you know, and we invited DVD, the choreographer of that challenge, mm -hmm. and uh, together we connected and did a very powerful collaboration, piece, yeah. collaboration. So it's through those collaborations that we meet and get to connect. Okay. Yes, when you have an idea, you ask yourself, who am I, who do I need to to do this to keep to bring it to life and, yeah. and you just call people and you meet Whoa. and connect so there's no federations uh, the federations are there actually there is um, there is Uganda Federation sport dance sport mm -hmm. yes that is really coming up and yeah doing okay. great and other federations that are uh, I hear about yeah how, how would you like to get support from government perhaps or recognition the thing is, yeah. um, it's also in the universities, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dance is uh, uh, a course in the universities. Yeah, so it's the government is doing that, and the Uganda Dance Sport, I think the government is really supporting that. Okay. And um, uh, yeah, and uh, some Kamani. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Okay, as we wrap up this conversation, yes. Don mm. Lean, yes. wh what's the future of dance uh, mm. for us as an Afri uh, Africa as a continent? Mm. It's big, it's vibrant, and it's up and coming. Um, there is a lot of us dancers that's trying our best to take it further than where it is at the moment, like what I'm doing here right now, the skill that I'm learning here, the salsa, and the... Kizom. <laughs> <laughs> All those words. Um, it's really s things that I've learned from Uganda that I'd like to take over to South Africa mm -hmm. and implement it on that side because mm -hmm. we don't have much of a social dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. so okay. it's more technique, we all belong to dance schools, yeah. yes we do have our moments of socializing but not the way it's been done here mm -hmm. in Uganda and I feel like that pushes dance a lot more, it, it gives everyone the space to feel like everyone can dance, mm -hmm. it's not just for the trained dancer. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, and uh, Valentino in conclusion, when are we having Valentino School of Dance, <laughs> what's the future of dance for us in Uganda? Th that's really in pipeline. And a lot we're really planning under the Varich Arts uh, production company and as Dance with Valentino we are preparing lots of um, events that people could come and and um, and and learn and learn dance and also party you know and is there one coming up soon yes mm -hmm. there is one that's coming up soon in August okay. yes that event and also what we're doing is uh, we've launched dance classes for the kids for the youngsters yeah Latin and ballroom yeah so uh, Donlin too is here to also uh, share some skill with the young mm. stars because you know that that's the future. Okay. That's the future. So there's a lot we are doing. All right. Yes. So I'm officially seven years of age. Um, <laughs> so that I <laughs> you can <laughs> so that I can sign up for these children's class uh, to through. express themselves in yes. dance, focusing mm. on Latin mm. and uh, as well as ballroom dancing. Mm. But also, I would like to officially ask you: uh, when I get to that time of like my wedding, can you be my personal choreographer? Yes. You yes. can't say no. It's yes. on TV. <laughs> <laughs>
the thing is, the thing is it's, it's a, it, I, I really enjoy being part of their love stories yes. of these people. Yes. And uh, they, I've done a lot of choreographies for yeah. the first dance and yes. the entrance. And it's so, so nice yeah. being part of the love stories of people and putting their love story into dance. Okay, mm. stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for being with right. us. It's yeah. been a pleasure getting to know your Great. inner spaces yeah. and knowing you from the screens mm. and the expressions of dance that you bring with reality, mm. life and love and laughter and all to our audiences and of course our screens. That brings us to the end of our Kickstarter. We're going to take a short breather and we're going to be returning shortly.